outsider, you're also able to gain perspective and offer analysis. As teacher, advisor, mentor, you ask us the tough questions, and it may take us a couple of weeks at least just to understand what those questions are. But when we come through, we have a better understanding of who we are and how we can formulate our own questions. Music itself is inherently difficult to describe, but you give us the tools to understand how it fits into our lives and how to reflect upon who we are as American Jews in the 21st century. In the end, what I've learned from you is that we keep what we need to keep and we change what we need to change and we are all going to be just fine. <laughs> and these characteristics of being both an insider and an outsider are also descriptors of a good leader. And that has allowed you to grow into your role here at Hebrew Union College. So much so that it will take more than one person, more than two people to fill your shoes. Whether it was reimagining the Cantorial School curriculum to streamline the teaching of liturgy, modes, and liturgical music, teaching and co-teaching so many classes on a variety of subjects, organizing academic conferences, serving on various faculty leadership committees, and serving this year as the chair of our faculty. This school is as great as it is, in part because you are as outstanding as you are. You told me, she said, last week, when we sat down to chat, that one of your professors once gave you some great advice. He said, when you're really prepared, there is no one better than you. But when you're not prepared, you're not yourself. Mark, you seem to be always prepared. You are at the top of your game. And it is no wonder that UCLA is offering you this extraordinary opportunity. I will remember the words you shared with me and forever be appreciative of everything I've learned from you. I know I am not alone. May you go from strength to strength. I wish you all the best in your new academic home. We will miss you. Kazakh, Kazakh, Benit Kazakh. with Drs. Chernick and Cohen, I envy the students here today and over the last generation who have had the opportunity to study with Dr. Friedman in a cantorial program where he, working together with his colleagues, has been a force for change, shaping what had been an excellent four-year program with a number of different emphases into a five-year ordination program, unique and again, I'm gonna say revolutionary, in its integration of art, scholarship, and religious engagement. An integration that Dr. Goodman models not just professionally, but at the personal level to it. Humility aside, this work in which he has played a central role has enabled us today to offer the best cantorial program in the world. To Dr. Kligman, I want to say, though I have not sat in your classroom, you too have been a teacher for me in a profound way that I am going to miss terribly when you get with your departure. From you on a weekly basis, particularly in recent years as you have served as chair of our faculty and the faculty council, I have been blessed with the opportunity to work in authentic, honest, shared, collegial partnership. And that is no small thing. 
I know that every faculty member in this room shares the gratitude that I feel for your leadership. You model <coughs> citizenship. And this institution, like every Jewish institution, depends entirely on our citizenship, on people stepping up the way that you do, setting the bar high for thoughtful, engaged presence and menschlichkeit. You are a true dogma ishit, an example and an inspiration for all of us. Each of our teachers, whom we honor today, is a dogma ishit who inspires us to engage ever more deeply with Torah, to take responsibility for learning and living the values of our tradition, and to work in partnership with one another and with God to move our world from Abdut to Perut. They are Moray Derek, who have changed our lives and the lives life of this institution. I invite them now to speak without further introduction, Dr. Michael Chernick, and then Dr. Norman Cohen, and finally Dr. Hey everyone, this is me, the Constable. I was sitting next to my wife, Jessica, earlier in the service, weeping and thinking to myself that this truly defines what bitter sweet is. In preparing these remarks, a memory triggered my first visit to HUC on the day of my interview in January 1994. As I had done on other important days during my doctoral studies at NYU, I would come early to the NYU library, sit in the study carol, review my notes, collect my thoughts, and tell myself in the big moment to be calm and to remember to smile. <laughs> On that day in January, I left the NYU library, walked to Washington Square Park. I looked onto the snow-filled paths, and I knew that my dream, fostered by years of study, to teach Jewish music was one step closer. I've never told anyone this, but I said to myself, time to make history. It was my Rocky Balboa moment to conquer myself to move forward. That day I came to HUC, I met faculty and administration who would become my colleagues. I found the warm and inquisitive spirit of this institution that I have come to truly love. We are taught in recent parshiot about korbanot, that a korban toda a Thanksgiving offering is important. Thanking the Almighty for what we have is always important. I am grateful to the Almighty for giving me the ability to serve on the faculty at HUC JIR for 20 years and for the incredible opportunities that I have had. I'm honored to share this day with two special people, Norman Cohen and Michael Cherney, who have been my mentors and colleagues. I know you have helped hundreds. My journey to Jewish music began 30 years ago when I was an undergraduate student at California State University at Northridge. In my music history course book, there was only one paragraph on Jewish music, and I just knew there had to be more. <laughs> Inspired by my classmates who looked into the music of their heritage, Japanese or Latin American, I set out to find more about Jewish music. Around that time on this journey, I met Jessica, and we mapped out a plan to get through college, get married, go to graduate school, and then, well, we really didn't have a plan to do more than that. <laughs> Looking back on the journey that led me to coming to HUC, I knew it was a culmination and validation of hard work and the dream to dedicate my energies to teach and study Jewish. It was a tremendous day to get the job offer from Norman. In fact, after coming to HUC in April 1994, almost exactly 20 years ago from this day. I went to our apartment and said to Jessica, can you believe it? Not only do I get to teach Jewish music, they're going to pay me. <laughs> it has been a profound journey to grow as a teacher, a scholar, and most importantly, as a Jew here at HUC. The faculty administration who have truly modeled collegiality, friendship, and support. To Israel Goldstein, Norman Cohen, Benji Allen Schiller, and Joyce Rosenzweig, I would not have been able to get started and develop my skills to be an effective teacher and colleague. Thank you for seeing me as a diamond in the rough and providing me constant guidance and support.
in more recent years, working with Bruce Rubin, Mary Arian, Ray Altman, and of course, our Dean Shirley Heidelson and President Aaron Henkin. Thank you for your strength and sense of purpose that has made our work together rewarding and meaningful. To the administration and all my colleagues, thank you for the support you have given me and the trust to represent our important work. To the students that I have taught and guided through their thesis, thank you for sharing your journey with me and letting me take part in your discoveries. I will miss you all. Last, but certainly not least, to my family. I offer my deepest thanks. My journey is so much a part of our life, and I thank you for being the most important part of the adventure. And I must tell you, I come here with my children and my wife today, thinking of so many wonderful memories of my children being here in this building, and my daughter, Yonina, running around in this building running into classes and out of classes, writing on the chalkboard. And I found out once why she liked to come here, that she loved the women's bathroom on the fourth floor, which apparently has a great makeup set up. <laughs> <laughs> to my son, Shmuel, most of what I know on the smart board, I've learned from my son, <laughs> And I want to share one recent experience that about 18 months ago, I came on a Sunday to teach to reform uh, youth uh, had an uh, activity there for students who had spent their summers at Nifty summer camps. And Shmuel sat at the computer advancing through the PowerPoint slides and we did three presentations that day. We went home and Jessica asked us, well, how was the day? And Shmuel said, I worked so hard. <laughs> and I said to Shmuel, well, I did too. And he said, what are you talking about? You just got up and talked. <laughs> Finally, Jessica, I thank you for your love and support, which is most precious to me. My success is truly a testament to you. I have done the best I could do, often feeling it was not enough. I hope the history I made here is to reassert the importance of the study of Jewish music and to have it reach a higher level to help pull the study of Jewish music into the conversations of Jewish studies. I hope that I have helped students connect to the Jewish tradition and to become part of something larger. This work has truly been a gift. Now the journey that has brought me here brings me to a new crossroad. God willing, as I embark on new endeavors at UCLA, I will draw upon my experiences here at HUCJAR. It is a bittersweet period of time for me and my family during this transition. It is a blessing and not easy to make a decision between good and good. As I teach new courses and develop new programs, I know I will say with pride that I worked at Hebrew Union College Jewish Institute of Religion. And when I represent the music of Reform Judaism, I will think of all of them. And I will smile with comedy and remember all the beautiful music that I have heard in this chapel. Thank you for 20 wonderful years.